<clears throat> Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about some NFL. I'm just doing whatever uh, can, we can here in the offseason besides the NFL season previews. Doing some NFL news every few days here and there, but let's get into it. So the hashtag Bears, they have signed a rookie wide receiver, Rome uh, Odunze, to a fully guaranteed four-year, $22 million deal per Adam Schefter. Man, these rookie contracts are crazy. Like some players getting like twenty, thirty million. I think uh, Kay Williams got paid, is getting paid too. But yeah, he did. Uh, per Adam Schefter, uh, the other one, Chicago's number one overall pick, Kay Williams, is signing a four-year, fully guaranteed contract worth thirty-nine million. That includes a twenty-five point five million signing bonus and a fifth-year team option. Per sources. I mean, it's not really wild money. That's it's slotted for the pick status. So, number one pick usually it's that much money. So, Romeo Dunze and Kobe Williams officially signed the rookie contract. So, um, the big news today is uh, some breaking news. Hashtag 49ers star wide receiver Brandon IU. He has officially requested a trade from the team per at Mike Garofalo. Talks between both sides have gotten nowhere. So, um, maybe it, maybe he has been, uh, requested a trade from the team, maybe for a while, and maybe this is just now coming out, but he could, he could still come back. There's no sign that he's officially getting traded, he's just requested a trade, but we'll see. I mean, I really thought he was going to stay there, but remember when, uh, Debo Samuel requested a trade, and they were unwilling to engage in contract talks, and this could be another similar situation. That could be interesting. If he was to get traded, where would he go? The Steelers, obviously a team that's been mentioned when rumors were gone before this. And the Commanders will make a sense. And two teams have been heavily connected to Brandon Ayoub and make a ton of sense are the hashtag Steelers and the hashtag Commanders uh, to me. As he could get to be sent to Pittsburgh if he was to get traded and play over there with George Pickens. They, sh they should just put their attitudes aside because them together uh, would help the Steelers offense tremendously. Yeah, they're I don't want to say they're Davis, but their attitudes aren't the best. But it's hard for me to say when I'm not obviously don't know NFL players like that. But we'll see, um he requested a trade from the team, but this could be another Debo Samuel situation. Where Debo Samuel requested a trade and they were unwilling to talk with uh talk uh, negotiation for no contract. This could be the same thing with Brandon IU. Until there's talks of him like getting traded, then I'm not gonna buy into this too much, but that is interesting. So trending Giants wide receiver Jalen Hyatt, he thinks people are sleeping on the Giants offense. <laughs> sure about that? Said in quote, guess they are. We have four or five dynamic receivers. All of us confident, all of us want the ball. We're gonna be explosive this year, end quote. Yeah, you didn't mention the QB, the running back, the tight end, or the offensive line. I mean, Theo Johnson can reasonably be a good tight end, but I don't know. Singletary's solid. I mean, Singletary's solid. Theo Johnson's a rookie. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'll just stay sleeping on this offense. The running back, though, line positions are a big question mark. And Daniel Jones is a huge question mark. Suits, it has to be kidding. So, uh, per your report, uh, the hashtag Rams are signing kicker Dustin Hopkins to a three year, $15.9 million extension per Adam Shafter. Good contract. Um, low key, one of the best kickers in the league. He's actually top five kicker. He made 33 field goals. He 33 field goals made and never missed beyond 50 last season. He was a top four kicker last year, so 
Also, a pretty good contract. Three years, uh, $15.9 million for uh, Dustin Hopkins. So, per your report, a Vikings rookie QB, J.J. McCarthy, is planning to hold out if he doesn't receive his full signing bonus payment payment up front. Per at Pretty Ricky 213. I mean, he can hold out. He wasn't going to start this season anyways. And Sam, Don Sam Donald's really their quarterback. I mean, we got rookies holding out. Bro, I think he has motion. Like, you're not worth that special treatment, man. Kid's a diva already, man. Hate to see it. Trying to get what he can before everyone realizes he isn't that good. And he thinks he's good enough to do that. And we haven't seen you play snap in the NFL, so how are you going to hold out? Nail face. So, rumors, uh, the hashtag Jets almost traded for Devontae Amps last season before Josh McDaniels was fired. Per at Pretty Ricky 213. He, he's also hearing that Devontae will be a Raider to start the season, and the Jets will be more aggressive before the trade deadline. Man, they really, we really need to see Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers uh, team up one last time. They should try to do, because I think it would be worth it for the Jets. But, that's the only team I could see him going to at this point, if he was to get, like, traded. Was to team back up with Aaron Rodgers. Remember, Aaron Rodgers said, I hope to team up with him again soon, or something, some, something along those lines. So, Adam Schaefer was on the Pat McAfee show. Uh, yesterday. He said, uh, Adam Schefter said, and I quote, and I quote, nerd community, it's only a matter of time before the NFL has an 18 game season with two bye weeks. Eyes emoji. Why are we ruining the game, I love? Why, why do we need 18 game season with two bye weeks? Like, it's just unnecessary. But, I mean, people probably known this for years that it was probably going to happen. But, I don't know. Should just leave it at 17 games. I mean, this is obvious it's going to happen. But, I mean, I guess it's more games to watch, so. I guess I really shouldn't complain because it's more football to watch, but. Um, so, Ravens, a uh, hero, former Ravens wide receiver and Super Bowl hero, Jacoby Jones, passed away a few days ago at the age of 40, according to multiple reports. So, uh, Ravens legend, an electric returner. That Super Bowl returner is legendary. It's RIP. So, Jordan Addison, Vikings wide receiver. He was arrested on suspicion of drunk driving after being caught asleep at the wheel near LAX Airport per at by Luca Evans. And this was about two days ago. He, this happened. You would think people would stop this, especially after your teammate got killed by a drunk driver. You got there, oh, I'm going to go drunk drive myself. Like, can these, these players need to just call an Uber. Hey, I'm, can, I, can I get an Uber? Or something like that. He's very talented. Hopefully he doesn't turn into, like, this drunk driver that does this shit all the time. Uh, Boomer Eason trending says that if, De if a Devontae Adams trade to the Jets happen, does happen, it'll be in August or early September. Dead cap, cap for the Raiders this year is $40 million if they traded him. I'm hearing that if it is going to happen, it, if it, it... Can't talk, ladies and gentlemen. If I'm... I'm hearing that if that this is gonna happen, if it does happen in late August or early September, and the cap hit for him is $25 million. Man, maybe this could happen, I don't know. Uh, ESPN poll coaches, executives, and scouts for their top 10 times in the NFL, Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, Mark Andrews, Sam Laporta, TJ Hawkinson, David Njoku, Dal Dallas, Gar Dalas Goddard. Da Dalton Kincaid, Evan Ingram, and Dalton Schultz. 
Uh, where's Jake Ferguson at? I'm, I'm not seeing a... Where's my... Where's Jake Ferguson? Um... Jake Ferguson definitely should be here. But, but yeah, that's all the NFL. Uh, all the NFL I want to talk about here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. So, till next time, I have a lot. Peace.